A hydrocarbon is a molecule made up of only carbon and hydrogen atoms. Hydrocarbons can form a whole range of different types of structures and therefore have a wide range of properties. A homologous series is a family of compounds that have similar chemical properties due to a common functional group. We're going to look at three groups in particular. These are alkanes, alkenes and alkynes. Alkanes are hydrocarbons that only contain single bonds. Alkanes are said to be saturated. This means that each carbon molecule is bound chemically to the maximum number of atoms that it can be. Here I have a molecule of butane. The black balls represent carbon, while the white balls represent hydrogen. You can see that all the available bonds for each carbon are taken up by the hydrogen atoms. There are no other available spaces, so it is saturated. Alkanes are named based on how many carbon atoms there are in the chain. Here is a table that summarizes the first eight names of alkanes. They all contain the suffix "-ane". This one here is butane, as it has four carbon atoms. The chemical formula for alkanes can be worked out using the formula CnHn plus 2, where the n stands for the number of carbon atoms. What this refers to is the ratio between the number of carbon atoms and the number of hydrogen atoms in a molecule. This is how we would draw the structural formula. The structural formula shows every single bond between all atoms in the molecule. A condensed structural formula looks like this. While it doesn't show the bonds, it does show how many hydrogens are attached to each carbon. You may also see a molecule like this represented by a zigzag. Looking at this 3D model, it is not hard to see why. Each point on the zigzag represents a carbon atom. If a carbon molecule contains double or triple bonds, then it is said to be unsaturated. This is because these bonds could be broken to allow for more bonds between carbon and other atoms. A hydrocarbon that contains double bonds is called an alkene. All alkenes contain the suffix "-ene". The way we name alkenes is slightly different to the alkanes, as we include the position of the double bond in the name. I've used a chain of four carbons again so we can compare alkanes with alkenes. The position of the double bond is numbered based on which carbon atom it is attached to. When we name our alkenes, we want to give the double bond the smallest number possible. So let's look at this example. We have four carbons, and the double bond is attached between the third and fourth carbon atom. But what we need to remember is that this is actually a 3D molecule taking up 3D space. And so if we rotate this molecule, what we see is that the place of that double bond is now between the first and second carbon. So to give it the smallest number possible, we say that this is in position one. To name this molecule, it can be done in two ways, either, 1 hyphen butene or but one ene. Both of these names are correct, just different conventions in how we name them. A hydrocarbon that contains triple bonds is called an alkyne. All alkynes contain the suffix "-ine". Alkynes are also unsaturated as the triple bond could be broken in order to allow other atoms to join to the carbon atoms. The naming convention for alkynes is the same as for alkenes. We give the place value of the triple bond the smallest number possible. This example would be 1-butyne or but one iron. I hope this video has helped you to understand how we name alkanes, alkenes and alkynes. If you found this video helpful, please hit like below and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos.